In this video I'm going to give you an explanation of how the scavenge pump works. This one is from a Porsche M96 and M97 engine as fitted to the 996 and 997 Carreras and also on the 986 and 987 Boxsters and Caymans. The pump's held on to the end of the cylinder head with these four bolts here and the pump itself is held together with these four bolts. So I've just taken three out, I've just finished taking the last one out and then the pump can be dismantled so I'll just take the top off it and you can then see how it works. So inside it's a, a gear driven pump so this gear rotates inside here. If I take this gear out you'll be able to see how it operates. Inside here there are two cavities, there are two slots on the side. So when the gears are in place in here When it's mounted on banks four to six, it's rotating in this direction and this volume here gets trapped between the gears and is moved from this side to this side. And you'll see that this wide groove is also present on the cover. So you've got a wide groove at the bottom and a narrow groove at the top. The narrow groove is basically just blocking this small part here. So there are also markings on this part of the pump it has four to six marked on this side. So when it's on the end of the engine at the back of the car on the 996, the pump is rotating clockwise. So the, the fluid, the, the air and the oil is being moved across the pump this way. When it's mounted on the other side of the engine, if the pump was rotating in the same direction, it would actually be moving the air and the oil in that direction. So it needs to be mounted the opposite way up. So it's important to note that when it's on banks four to six, this wide section must be at the bottom of the pump. And that's it. That's how the scavenge pump works.